Hi, this is Bhumika. Let's we see about the topic electrical safety codes and standards. Let's first see electrical safety in hospitals. Safety generally refers to the safety of uh, hospitals. Electrical safety is a very important element in the hospital safety. The electrical safety of medical equipment in hospital is the one of the most important factor. Medical engineering. Next we see about the topic medical engineering and electrical safety. Uh, the medical or a clinical engineer must be aware of the uh, safety measures uh, of the uh, electrical equipment. Electrical safety means it's the electrical uh, shock production. The mechanism, let's we see about the mechanism of the electrical shock. Electrical shock occurs uh, when a victim is a part of the electrical circuit, which is that an electrical current can flow and has the ability to harm the victim. That means consequently that there must be a simultaneous two point contact of the victim within the electrical shock circuit. Uh, let's uh, we see that electrical shock is equal to the closing the electrical shock circuit next we see about methods of production against the electrical shock uh, there are various methods of production uh, against the electrical shock as follows uh, the, those methods are over current production it's an indirect production productive earthing that is the method of grounding and double insulation next we see about low voltage power supply and the other method is Differential circuit breaker, ground fault circuit interrupter that is uh, referred to as GFCI and the last method is isolated power system that is IPS. Let us see a uh, brief of, uh, seen brief about low voltage supply. Supply voltage is less than 50 volt. Equipment need not to be earthed. The equipment must not be earthed for wet areas voltage is less than 25 volt. If skin is immersed in water voltage less than if the voltage is less than 12 volt. If supply is via a transformer, the, then the primary and secondary must be galvanically separated. Next we see about the rules for medical equipment electrical safety. Patient to be connected to the common ground through only one grounding pole. Deal carefully with the electrical wires and sockets. And check them periodically. Do not use extension cables. Do not use faulty cables or plugs. And ask for replacement. If an equipment has a failure which can cause electrical shock, do not use any medical equipment you don't know the basis of operation. And next we see about the some codes and standards. Codes of practice for electrical wiring installation are follows. The IEA 732 1989 provides the standard uh, electrical safety codes. It regulates the design of installation, selection and the erection of equipment and inspection and testing of the wiring system. Next, the next code is code of practice for earthing. Some codes are there for the practice of earthing. It is IES 3043-1987 standard which is pertained to the earthing in electrical installations. Next, lightning arrest for alternating current system. The IES 3070-1993 standard pertains to the electrotechnical section that deals with the surge arresters. This section regulates identification, rating, classification and testing procedure of arresters. There are some, call, uh, some codes as follows. IS 1930, General and Safety Requirement of Electrical Lighting, Lights. IS 2032, Graphical Symbols Related to Electrical Technology. And the other code is IS 3072, Installation and Maintenance of Switch Gear, where system voltage is less than 1000 volts. And the other code is IS 3106. It refers to the selection, installation and maintenance of fuse where system voltage is less than 650 volts. The next following code is IS 3646. It is used for the practice for interior illumination. And the next code is IS 375. Making an arrangement of switchgear bus bars, main connections and auxiliary winding. The next code referred is IS 694 PVC. Insulating cables with copper conductors for voltage up to 100 volts. The next code as follows IS4237 requirements for switch gears and control gears up to the voltage of 1000 volts. Let us uh, see the conclusion. Conclusion in one way or another, the safety standards come into play when laying down a home electrical setup. Uh, Let us conclude that the electrical safety is the most important factor which is required in many places uh, like hospitals, not only in hospitals but also in operators and uh, in every possible places the electrical safety is very important. Thank you. That is all. Thank you.